talk about an amazing book and uh, I have to say that I love this book. The Black Witch by Laurie Forrest at 637 pages long. It took me like one day and a half to finish it because I just couldn't put it down. Why? Because the gold building, it's amazing. The world she has created, the different races, the species, cultures that she has woven into this world are completely, wow, it blew my mind. And there is also, there's lots of topics, very powerful topics that are brought into attention in this book. What we are going to find in this book, we are going to find this main character called Eloren. She comes from a very powerful family. Um, she's a member of the Gardenian society. They think they're top notch. They're like this purity of blood, purity of race, and everyone is seen as a lesser thing. And uh, yeah, that entitles them to, you know, to enslave the other races, to kill them, to strip them of their lands, to use them as a slave to, to do things for them. And yeah, all kind of things that if you don't, uh, I mean, you don't need to think very hard to see that it's kind of a reflection of our own world. And the thing is, we're going to find this main character, and she comes, as I said, from this very powerful family. And she looks like the speeding image of her grandmother. And her grandmother was the victor of this war with the other species that were evil and wanted to bring down the Guardanians. And she has been told of her life that her grandmother was a hero of war. And she feels some kind of shame because she doesn't have power. Because uh, we are talking about magicians here. And she has no power. So everyone looks at her like she is something less. Because, you know, she comes from this very powerful line and then she has no power. And also she is living in the middle of nowhere with her uncle and her two brothers. So she hasn't been raised as she could have been, surrounded by luxury, set upon by slaves and, you know, and she has had to feed animals and, and work. So she has this different way of seeing the world, but still, she still has lots of prejudice uh, because she has been told this story about Gardenians being, as I said, a top notch. And she sees the other races about in a way that they need to be feared or they need to be, you know, Gardenians need to put a stop to them because they don't know what to do with themselves. We're going to find different species here. We're going to find Selkies, Lupines, Lupines, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. We are going to find Fai, Elvis, Elvis. We are going to find people called the Celt, different races that she has created for this book. And we are going to find this conflict going on between Gardenians within that day, as I say, top notch, and the rest of them. And it's how it is, Gardenians and the rest of them. So um, <laughs> when Eloren goes to the university, at the beginning she's very kind, uh, she's very kind of afraid and also kind of anger because this university she's going to attend because she has no magic but she's going to study to be an apothecary but she's afraid because she's going to be obligated to mingle with other races <gasps> yeah uh, because and she's going to to be attending university with two Icarals. Oh my god, they are evil! Because they have these black wings and they are demons. And you know, Gardenians, they cut off their wings and they take away their powers because they are evil. And the evilness just, just stings and, and everything they touch, they corrupt. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she has to also be near Elvis and near other species. And she's like, okay, okay, <laughs> let's see what happens here. Also with the lupines, lupines, as I say, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Uh, she thinks that she, they are not better than animals. And even the people that she befriends, there, other Gardenians like her, are afraid of the lupines being animals because, you know, they have different ways of doing things. And they go out naked. Oh my God. And they have, uh, Gardenians have this very uh, religion where you don't have to show even an uncle. So imagine having lupins around naked. Oh my god. And I love how we have this character who is so prejudiced. And despite the idea of, 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 of thinking herself, you know, to be... She doesn't think of herself as a bigot or being prejudiced. Also, she's very naive. So she believes everything that's been told to her. When she goes to the university, she sees a group of people abusing a selkie and her aunt tells her it's okay because she's nothing more like an, than, anim, than an animal. And she's like, ah, okay. Because her aunt tells her that uh, they're going to find a way of treating them, the treating the problem that they present in a more different way. 
more, you know, direct way. And she thinks that maybe she's thinking about helping them instead of killing them. But, you know, she's very, as I say, very naive. And I love her when she goes to university, she begins to question all the prejudice. It begins with the Selkie and it goes on with different things that she sees that are being done to the slaves because she comes to realize that the people serving the others are treated as slaves and abused. She begins to see other lesser races being skitteries, being shy, being afraid, and she begins to question if uh, that's the correct way of doing things. And I love the journey that Eloren goes through when she begins to question all, ha all that has been told to her about uh, the purity of the Gardenian people, about how they, are, how they are the good guys and how they need to control the other races because they don't know what to do with themselves. And I love that it's not something that happens with a snap of a finger, but something that takes time. And, you know, and also that their prejudices go both ways. And I love when she sits down with the lupines and they begin talking about the different things they do and why they do. And, and I love that as she begins to open her mind to build a bridge to understand the other side. Not just, ah, okay, you go naked, okay. But just to try and see, ah, okay, they go naked because of that. Or, you know, I love that she really listens to the other part. And I love that they establish this rapport in which they can talk and they can try to destroy the prejudices and how there are things that are true, but you have to see them from the point of view of that culture and not yours because, you know, we are different. And also I love how there are things that are misinterpreted misinterpreted and how there are things that are completely lies and I love how she begins to see that she has been told this story uh, by ways of the winner that uh, all adagio that says that uh, the victor it's who the, the story is written by the victor and I love how she begins to widen her scope and tries to see how the, the, the facts and the things that happened she tries to see them from the point of view of different species, species so she can you know with a bigger tapestry and understand everyone. I love also the idea of integration that this book presents and I love that in this university you are kind of obligated to mingle with other people because uh, segregation, you have you know, different races but segregated, that's not inclusion. And I love how they make people mingle so they can understand each other and just throw down prejudices. And uh, I love also we are going to find uh, topics like homosexuality and uh, friendship, family, love. And I have to say that I have loved this book. I just couldn't put it down. It's amazing, really amazing. And the story, as I say, it's so well written. The, the, the chapters, uh, you f it, they fly by and you cannot put it down because they end and you want to know what is going to happen with the next character and with the next person and with the next band and you could just come put it down. It's very... It's so powerfully written, and it, as I say, it treats lots of, of, of very powerful topics, but you don't feel like you are being told what to think. You are presented an array of, of ways of thinking or possibilities, and you don't feel like you are being taught anything in the way that it's not like you are in a classroom and someone is, you know, giving you a presentation or a speech. It's so interwoven with the book that it flows and it created a bigger wall and it's amazing and it's very easy for you to empathize with all the characters and the idea of everyone having this prejudice is not only one side but both of them or the three of them, the four of them and seeing how there is people who are happy accepting all these prejudices, like this idea that they are top notch because, you know, they are in the top notch and you know uh, and having these people who began to question because it's a I think it's a journey of uh, learning of maturity of, of learning how maybe what you have been told all your life it's not all that there is and there is lots of things that you don't know and I love Eloren uh, she's an amazing character honestly all the characters in this book are amazing every one of them are so fleshed out they have their traumas they have their experiences they have their cultures they have their way of living and you maybe you don't understand why they do things like what the way they do but then you are told why and you can say ah oh, okay I understand and that's amazing and the story, the story is incredible. I just couldn't put it down. And I just finished it. I'm just waiting for the second one to arrive. It has to arrive today. And I need it because it's amazing. I just, I, I need more about this world because it's amazing. And I really, really recommend you to read this book. And I don't know if I'm making it justice with the review, but I have to say it's, for me, it has been a five over five stars on Goodreads. It's, um, 
I think it's one of the best books that I have read in some time. I'm not talking about this year or like two years or I'm talking like in my lifetime because for me it has spoken to me uh, to my very soul and as I say the, all the interesting and powerful topics about inclusion, about race, about culture, about question, questioning everything, about questioning privilege, about questioning you know it, it's been an amazing journey for me and I love all the characters and I love the story so yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.